Fans, Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're talking about asymmetric tyres. Now, with cars and bikes, this can mean two different things. Generally, with bikes, well, no, it's just do the car thing very quickly because people are going to go, ah, cars! So, asymmetric, what is asymmetry? Well, asymmetry means that if you have a fucking, I don't know, this shape, a loaf of bread or whatever, that this is the other side of it. That's asymmetrical. A good example is them fucking horrible headlights on um, the BMW S1000 fucking piece of rubbish. Um, so, you know, basically not symmetrical. That's what asymmetry is. Um, regardless, when we look at car tyres, generally what you'd expect is that they have generally a bead down the middle. And when you look at the tread, you know, it's doing this. And it's got some little fucking holes or whatever the tread is and then on this side it'll be kind of like the same but then there'll be some extra bits and some fucking whatever's and down the center line of the tire it is not symmetrical right the reason why is because generally with cars they have camber and towing and all the rest of it and they design the tire you know, when it's on the leading edge of a corner, it does this. When it's on the inside of a corner, on each individual tyre, it does this, and it does this, it does this, and it does this. That's not generally the... When we talk about motorbikes, that's not what we're talking about. You'll hear about in the MotoGP and stuff like that, unusual bike racing, you'll hear about asymmetric compounds and asymmetric tyres. What does this mean? Well, if you think about it like this, if you were doing something like Speedway or whatever, then... It's all, and you're going this way, it's all a left turn. <laughs> you only turn left. So if you made your tyre um, the same, if you made your tyre symmetrical, then it would be a bit of a waste of time, but you could get away with it. If you had your tyre like this, um, and you, you, know, you could make the whole thing just say like a hard compound, or a soft, or whatever you wanted. You know what I mean? There'd be no reason to change it. You would just have the same tyre. You'd pick the tyre for the track in the day, and away you'd go. The problem is, is that with motorbike racing and all the rest of it, is we don't have that. And Formula One and stuff, we have stuff like this. So if we're going this way again, we've got a left, we've got a left, we've got a left, then we've got a right, and then we've got a left again. So we've got that little right in there. Now, if you had um symmetrical tires again this wouldn't really be a problem um because it's only one corner and you know you're more on the left a lot so that one corner can just survive however in motor gp obviously and other bike races and stuff we have bike courses that are like this fucking horrible and sometimes what you can have is you can have 14 lefts you know and you can have 12 rights that generally isn't the reason why we have asymmetric tyres. The reason why is that you may be more on the left than the right or the right on the left. So you think, oh, we'll go a harder compound. But going one complete step could actually change things an awful lot because when you lean over on that side, all of a sudden that tyre isn't really that warm compared to the other side or whatever. It's not so much that. What it is, is you can in a sense think of it as corner severity. So this corner on a tyre isn't really that severe, you know what I mean? This is quite a long sweeping corner, that isn't that severe, you know, but then when you look at it, there's some other ones, just so like this real tight one, and the reason why it's severe is because you're lent over but you're losing speed, you're on the brakes. This one again, this quite a tight corner, this one is quite hard on that on the tyres, the rest of them, nah, you know what I mean, these are really gentle and the green ones are really hard. And if you look at them, we've got a left turn, a left turn, and then a right turn. But it could turn out that all your really hard on the tyre corners are all on the left-hand side, or on the right-hand side. And when it turns out like that, then the, the tyre manufacturers go, what happens is, if you use a normal tyre, or just say that, uh, an all-round hard, a non-asymmetric tyre, you go around the whole thing, and when they finish a race, they look at the tyre and go, fucking hell, the right side is fucked compared to the left. It's the, nearly the same number of corners, or it is the same number of corners, but that's because some corners are more harsh on the tyres than others. You know, if you're banking into a corner 
on the left hand side of the tyre and you're slamming you know fucking fists full of brakes because you're going from 200 all the way down to fucking 20 uh, no not 20 like 50 then that is hard on that left hand side where on the right hand side just say you could be doing a big massive sweeping uh, you know just uh, a constant velocity corner you could just go in a big sweeping corner and it's not that hard on the tyres whatsoever. It doesn't just mean braking as well when you've got on a corner, when you come out of this corner, you're hard on the acceleration, and again you're on the left hand side. It depends which tyre it is as well, hence why they change from front to, you know, you can have hard fronts and medium rears and vice versa and all the rest of it. We'll talk about more about tyres and stuff like that because it is quite an interesting subject, not just it's something worth knowing. Um, you know, but that is why, and basically what they do is they make the tyre out of two different compounds, that's what they do. You have a hard tyre, you have a soft tyre, you have a medium medium, you have a medium soft or whatever. But basically your tyre is, you know, one half just say a hard, and then the other half a medium hard, you know what I mean? And that's what they do, it's literally two different tyres in a sense, knitted together. Now. You know, it's all rubber and all the rest of it, well, certain types of synthetic rubbers sometimes, and all this little chemistry malarkey and business. But they are basically all, in a sense, nearly the same material, so they do just mould together. It's not a problem like that. It's not like it is going to split. You know, it's not like the blue and blue and red end of your rubber and they split in the middle. It's not like that. It's not just pushed together. But there is a difference in compound between each side, basically, you know, which one's tougher and which one isn't. You know, we want softer, softer can gel into the road a lot better, it can warm up and retain its heat a lot more. Hard ones, they fucking, you know, they're very hard to heat up, but then they last. You know, it's just like, if you want to think about tyres, just think of rubbers or razors. Just think of rubbers. You can have a hard rubber, you know, that doesn't wear out and doesn't really rub out your fucking pencil wax very well, but it lasts a long time. Or you can have the fucking putty ones, the weak soft ones, that'll rub out anything, you fucking hardly touch it, there's fucking debris everywhere. Really good rubbers, but really good at gripping that paper and pulling that carbon graphite off. But they don't fucking last very long, you know, so it's a toss-up between the two. Hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.